What's good, guys? This story came out today. It's coming out of Ansonia, Connecticut. It was updated at roughly 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's about 10 till 8 Central Time now. Suspect and Ansonia officer involved shooting arrested. State police have arrested a man in connection to an officer involved shooting that happened in Ansonia today. The shooting happened on Division Street, right near the Derby town line. Quote, Division Street is literally a dividing line between Derby and Ansonia, explained Chief Gerald Narosky, Derby Police Department. We have to travel on each other's roads to get from point A to point B. So it is a Derby officer in Ansonia, right on the town line, being investigated by the Connecticut State Police major crimes, end quote. According to Derby police, two males ran up to a police cruiser while an officer was stopped at a red light, banged on the windows, and asked for help around 7 a.m. While the officer tried to figure out what was happening, a vehicle drove by and one of the two males pulled out a gun and fired shots into the passing vehicle. The officer fired at the shooter and struck him. Different guns fired. I am 100% sure of that. I can hear the different rounds. First up at 5 o'clock, we continue to follow developing news from the Naugatuck Valley where police are investigating an officer-involved shooting. It unfolded right in the middle of a street this morning. The Pinpoint News Tracker is showing us where it happened, right along the Ansonia Derby town line. And that's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland live with the mobile newsroom with the very latest. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, this is Division Street right behind me. We've got Derby to my left over there, and Sonia, where we are right now, right here on this side of the road. And you can see that the road behind me has opened up, uh, but police are still here. They are investigating, focusing now on a house belonging to a relative of the man that was shot earlier this morning. Listen to this. Police say this all started when two people ran up to an officer here looking for help. But Derby's chief says before this officer could assist the two, one of them pulled out a gun and started shooting at a car that was driving by. I heard two small caliber shots go off early this morning, about 7 a.m. I went running to the window. As I was doing that, five more shots rang out. Eric Barone says the chaotic scene unfolded just a few feet from his house on the corner of Division Street, a bullet even hitting his window. He kept yelling out that he's a child, I'm a child, I'm a child. Don't shoot me, I'm a child. And the cops, I'm not going to shoot you, don't move. Don't move. According to Derby Police, it all started just after 7 this morning. An officer was at the corner of Division in Atwater, right on the Ansonia line, when a man and a teenager ran up to his cruiser asking for help. The officer was stopped at a red traffic light. Uh, two males approached the vehicle and were pounding on the windows in distress. A vehicle was passing by, driving by the intersection, and one of the two males that were in distress uh, pulled out a handgun and fired several shots into the passing vehicle. That's when the officer pulled out his gun, firing at the alleged shooter, hitting him in the leg. This morning, as detectives with the state police major crime squad collected evidence, a small silver handgun could be seen in the road right next to the sidewalk. He's traumatized. He can't do anything. He'll never be the same after this. Come on. I'm not even going to be the same after this. Candace Shaver says it was her 16-year-old son and 29-year-old nephew who approached the officer asking for help and that her nephew was the one that got shot. But when asked about the gun that was found at the scene, she claims it was put there by police. Who do we call when we need help? Because you can't call the police as you can see. <laughs> Now we're told that car that was passing by and shot at stayed at the scene. No one inside was hit. Important to note, Derby does not have body cameras for its officers. In fact, the process, it's in the process right now of trying to get them through a state grant. As for the investigation, it's being head up by the state police and the state's attorney's office. And again, that investigation is ongoing. We're live with the mobile newsroom on the Ansonia Derby line. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Quote, the officer was stopped at a red light. Two males approached the vehicle, pounding on the windows in distress. A vehicle was passing by, driving by the intersection. One of the two males in distress pulled out a handgun and fired several shots into the passing vehicle, end quote, Chief Narowski said. State police arrested 29-year-old Cornelius McCullough, 
of Derby, who was found to be in possession of a handgun. The driver of the vehicle stopped and cooperated with police. Whoever was inside was not hurt. Police said all parties involved in the incident was accounted for and that there were no threat to the public. McCullough, who was struck by the officer's gunfire, was transported to a local hospital in stable condition. He was hit in the leg. Quote, he's traumatized. He can't do anything. He'll never be the same after this. I'm not going to be the same after this. End quote, said Candace Chavers. Chavers, sorry. Candace Chavers said it was her 16-year-old son and 29-year-old nephew who approached the officer and that her nephew was the one that got shot. A firearm was recovered at the scene. Channel 3 cameras saw it on the street near a sidewalk. When asked about the gun that was found at the scene, Chavers claims it was put there by police. Quote, who do we call when we need help because you can't call the police as you can see, end quote, Chavers said. We're following breaking news at noon. Police in two towns are investigating now after an officer fired his gun. This happened about 7 this morning on Division Street along the Ansonia Derby Town line. Now police just gave an update and New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland will have some new information for us. We're joining him now. Matt? Uh, hi there, Kara. We just got the update here outside the Derby Police Department from uh, Derby's police chief along with the Connecticut State Police. And this is what they tell us. Uh, they said this was just uh, around 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, Derby police officers at the intersection of Atwater Avenue and Division Street. Division Street basically, uh, as the name is, it divides Ansonia and Derby. Uh, the officer was stopped at a red light in his cruiser. The chief tells us that's when two people approached him, started banging uh, on his window, uh, saying that they were in distress. Stress. So the officer uh, got out of the car. Uh, police tell us at that point, one of the two folks who uh, was asking police for help actually took out a gun and fired uh, a shot at a car that was coming towards them. That's when the officer took out his gun and opened fire at this suspect who was shooting at another car. Now, uh, we're told those two suspects were taken into custody. We're told one of them is a juvenile. We're told uh, the suspect that started shooting at the car, that ongoing car, the suspect that was shot by the Derby police officer, we're told he was shot in the leg and is expected to be okay. He was taken to the hospital. Now, uh, Ansonia police, Derby police, Connecticut State police, the Western District Major Crime Squad, they are investigating this use of force. Uh, but again, a wild scene uh, early this morning, just happened around 7 o'clock uh, at the Sonia Derby line. We heard from an eyewitness earlier today. Here's what he had to say. I'm very upset that this is happening. I, I watch the news every day. I, I, this has to happen right in front of my house. Another shooting. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. Now, again, uh, police have uh, not released the names or the ages of those involved, have not said uh, how long the officer has been here with the Derby Police Department either. Uh, they expect to release that officer's name at some point. Might not happen today. But again, state police are heading up this investigation of an officer-involved shooting uh, by a Derby police officer right on the Ansonia Derby line uh, earlier this morning uh, in Ansonia. We're live with the mobile newsroom in Derby. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. A neighbor told Channel 3 that a bullet went through his house. Quote, I looked out the window. There was a young man who got nicked in the leg on the ground, said Eric Barone of Ansonia. The police officer was very upset, end quote. Barone said he heard the gunshots. When he looked out the window, he said he saw what looked like two teenagers. One of them appeared to have been shot. The other was on the ground with his hands up. Quote, I'm very upset that this is happening, Barone said. I watch news every day. I'm upset that this is happening in front of my house. Another shooting. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. End quote. And Sonia and Derby detectives are investigating. Detectives from the state police said they also headed to the scene to help with the investigation. Derby police said they do not have body cameras. However, the chief said they are in the permit process to get a state grant for them. McCullough is on the Deadly Weapon Offender Registry and is not a valid pistol permit holder, according to state police. He was charged with carrying a pistol without a permit and criminal possession of a firearm. I'm with the neighbor. Um, it has got to stop. This has got to stop somewhere. I'm really disappointed that Connecticut does not have body cameras. Um, that is a bad, bad thing. It's 2021. 
and you still haven't had the grant in place to get the body cams, that's a scary, scary thing for those living in Connecticut. That's all I'm going to say about that. And I'm going to end the video on that note. Thanks for watching, guys.